just going to go over two minutes. Thank you and thank you. Um, so please, again, don't think that I'm being rude. That's the law. Um, okay, and we will start with, and, and you need to get your cards up now if you want something on the non-agenda items. Okay, up first, and also when you step up there, please say your name and state your address, or at least street address, please. Peter Tim, followed by Betty Anderson. Peter Tim from North Oak Street, and I want to thank everybody for putting this out in large letters because what I got last meeting was something in this that I couldn't read it at all. However, I must complain about something. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the of North, the West side of North Palmway is not lifted in here at all. Nothing. Andy, I'd like you to take a ride up North Palmway and I look at the did. holes over there. And tell me that this is not a problem. There are at least six havens up there where the black top has been replaced by white cement, and that is falling down. It is ridiculous. And I think this block has tried to spend $63 million and get nothing done for people who really need it. I don't know how many other occasions there are like this where things were missed but it definitely is not properly done. I also, uh, our friends bought the decals for the beach and they were so surprised to find out they could park any place at the beach they wanted. Except in front of the casino building, which doesn't have a parking space at all. Why was this thing ever put it out? So I went down I got it. And they said, we corrected it. This is what their correction, I haven't touched this. This is what I got from them when I went over there to get it. And so everybody though is paying for these and they don't see this until they have paid for it because the girl behind the counter must fill it out herself. You can't fill it out. So nobody knows what's on here or what these white outs and black outs mean. But the people who bought these before the white out, black out, they can walk any place they want because it says so right on the floor. So, you know, this is ridiculous. And why are we against people that only come in here for six months and Thank they're you. not allowed to get Thank you, sir. any Well, That must change. Thank you. Thank you. Betty Anderson, followed by Mark Easton. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Betty Anderson from Murray Hills Condos. Since about a year ago, I noticed a very, very high water bill on my condo. I then asked Ron Exline, the former mayor of Lakewood, how do I find out what's the problem and how do I correct it? Now, I have after two utility directors, six or seven utility employees, your conservation department, and the building departments, Ron finally found the problem solver. It is Mr. Joel Rusky. <laughs> if he were for me, I would give him a title and a merit raise. He worked very hard and long to locate those problems. He could explain it better than me. And what was wrong? My condo is the second floor. I use it only as a personal office and storage and other things. Very, very little water is used there. We found out that a new water meters were installed, but connected backwards. <laughs> I got to pay their bill. And she has a family and lots of visitors. Now her condo is under mine because of the switch. And then we found out that the meter readers were not checking the meter numbers. Just reading in something they call sequence. <coughs> then next came the filling adjustments, etc. Joel stuck with us, and I think this neighbor nightmare is over. Joel is just what our utility needs, 
a person who can solve problems. And I also support your splitting of the water from the electric department and a good, great idea. It gets very confusing to do both. And I thank you for letting me speak. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to uh, thank the commission and Pennies on the Beach for allowing us to bring 44 kids this year uh, out on the pier. And we did that Saturday and we had a great time. All the kids left with their own brand new kitchen rods. And uh, one did go over uh, over the side. Fishing rod, I hope you're saying. Yeah, fishing okay. rod. <laughs> <laughs> over the side and uh, a, a friendly circle grabbed it and got it back up on the pier for us. So. Um, yeah. that was good time. The kids caught fish, uh, caught a few fish, and, and had a great day. And um, I want to just want to thank uh, PBSO officers for you know, providing the kids and showing up to help with the day and everything. And I uh, think the Chamber of Commerce wants to extend a big thank you to Lake Work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loretta Sharp, followed by Mary Lindsay. Loretta Sharp, 1311 South Dakota. Well, I'm glad that uh, Commissioner Maxwell is going up to Code Conference uh, at the end of June. <clears throat> but I have a suggestion for the Commission. Now, why don't you buy them, have them have their eyes checked and buy them glasses? Because there's not one code inspector in the city that can see one thing wrong. There is a empty lot on Federal Highway that the things are this high. You cannot possibly go down Central Highway without seeing this empty lot. It's a this high. Why doesn't somebody make the owner mow them? Every other empty lot on Federal Highway is very well maintained. Very well maintained. Except this one empty lot. The people who just bought the house across the street that faces this empty lot on 11th Avenue, and they fix their house up beautifully. And I don't know how they want to go out their front door and look at this mess that they have to see every single time they go out the front door. I don't know what you're going to do about COVID. I really think you really should find out if they really do need glasses because they cannot drive around the city and not see what's wrong. And if they can, then, then let's just fire them. Thank you. Mary Lindsay. Followed by Barbara Jean Weber. Mary Lindsay, 327 Columbia Drive. Good evening, Commissioners. I'm going to speak to you during public participation tonight as Chair of the Neighborhood Association President's Council. And on behalf, thank you, thank you. And on behalf of all the presidents on the council, we are thrilled to announce that we have a new Neighborhood Association in the City of Lake Worth, and that is Royal Poinciana who is now officially, legally, um, sun visibly, uh, their paperwork is filed. They have a, 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 a articles of incorporation as well as a good start on proposed bylaws. Their first meeting is going to be May 25th at the Shuffleboard Court. And we are just very, very thrilled. This has been a long time in coming. Two other neighborhood associations, Tropical Ridge, and Mango Groves have taken Royal Poinciana under their wing over the last year, and um, they are now ready to fly on their own. So I know that the uh, new president, Anna Maria, is here. Yolanda Sanchez is also an officer. She also happens to be one of the new NSP2 homeowners. And Jeannie Trigg is one of the officers. So I'm going to ask Anna Maria to stand up, and I know you all join me in welcoming this brand new neighborhood. <laughs> Jean Weber, followed by Betty Bush. Hello, Mayor and Good evening. Two things. We do not have one sign in the city that says, please clean up. Not one. And I look. And Commissioner Amoroso, you're absolutely correct. We should not have a sign. But we do have signs that go slow, buckle up. Open it, watch the top. We need signs on the city of snow. Secondly, I understand uh, when I bumped into a representative of the sheriff's office.